Welcome Cancer to your weekly reading. This is for the 5th to the 11th of September. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming in for you for this week. I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us a nice core message, a nice theme of the week. And then I'm going to, that jumped, so I'm just going to take that one. And then I'm going to take the tarot to look at further insights and deeper messages from what we receive from the, the oracle cards. Right, so let's go ahead and pull one more oracle card for you, Cantor. And then I'm going to get going right compromise interesting right look at that cancer i have to just hold this up for you so that you can see it nice and clearly look at that opportunity this week we've got opportunity coming in raining down upon you now of course this is going to be in very many areas in different areas of your life so you're just going to have to take it as it resonates it could be in one area it could be in more than one area but there is an opportunity coming in and it's very welcomed as you can see her arms are outstretched welcoming this opportunity it could be gold coins could be love could be anything because we've got the angels here could be anything guys so this is we'll look at it further with the tarot but it's going to be in an area where you're looking for opportunity I love that. That's a, such a lovely way to start. I love this card as well, guys, and I'm going to tell you why. Because remembrance is like the energy of something that has happened in the past. Okay, so we, we, we've been through a situation in the past that we learned from. And what happens now over this week, something comes up and we go, okay, I remember when I was in a similar situation and this worked, this didn't work, so now I'm going to be doing this. It's like taking your past wisdom and using it in, in, this, in, this, in the present situation to your advantage. So I'll just give you an example here, guys. If you were in some huge conflict at work, just say you were, had a, a, a huge um, disagreement with a colleague, all right? But like a really, you were like at loggerheads, a big disagreement with somebody at um, at work. And you you just saw that what happened was when you really went went at it with each other, it was just, just like a lose-lose situation. It was like, you didn't win, they didn't win, the, the, the team was, was, was split, your boss was incredibly unhappy, and you were like, okay, something comes up this week, maybe it's a similar situation, you're like, you know what, I'm not going to go down that road again. You handle it in a completely different way. You're like, if there is a, this person is rising up again with a conflict, you just shut it down. Because you remember what worked and what didn't work. And perhaps you just go in and say, I'm not prepared to do that. You maybe call in a third party to mediate and you clean it up completely. And I think maybe this maybe this compromise, you can see a two handshakes. So it's a win-win situation or it works out well. It certainly works out well for you because this is you using your wisdom and knowledge to manage the situation. And the, but what, what I love is you just kind of flatline the situation completely so there's none of this aggression and conflict and that's just an example guys so just take it as it could resonate within your life circumstances let's go ahead now and pull the tarot so we can get further insight and messages regarding this week for you cancer all right let's see what we have for our cancerians We've got the Ace of Cups coming right under our opportunity. We've got the Emperor. Wow. Ace of Wands, incredible Cancer. Six of Swords. And the Two of Pentacles. What a lovely spread. This is a good week. Good week coming up. You've got two aces. How auspicious is that? Okay, right under your opportunity, you have got the hand of God giving you the ace of cups. Your cup floweth over. This opportunity, Cancerians, please, for everyone, it's going to be different. For some of my Cancerians, it's got to do with romance and love. This is work. This is family. This is children. This is wherever you want this hand of God to come in with this cup saying an abundance of love, an abundance of opportunity coming in. Perfect. And it sits right under this card where it's flowing down, right? This opportunity. Something beautiful is happening here. 
this emperor card i'm going to actually clarify because i want to see who or what this emperor is I'm just curious here cancerians just to see who or what this emperor is look at this mm, amazing amazing cancerians okay for those of you, okay, just take it, once again, I, mean, I know I keep saying the same thing, but of course, because everybody's circumstances are so different. There is somebody who is presenting as an emperor who's going to come forward with some kind of an offer. Now take it in the area of your life where you would like this offer. This emperor is an older person, very, very solid, stable, mature person. They coming from a place of strength. There's nothing fickle. There's nothing um, fleeting about this offer, but they see something in you, Cancerians, and they come through with there's an offer here. There's an offer on the table. We see this cup here as well, the hand of God, and here is the cup. Some op offer, some opportunity coming up. Right, right under your member, your remembrance card, you've got the Ace of Wands. Whatever this is, whatever knowledge that you're tapping into, that you're going to be using, and it could be that you're using it in this circumstance, right? Maybe it's like it's this offer comes through, and it's an offer of love, and you remember, oh, this is this kind of person. You know, this the, the my previous partner was this kind of person, and now I re this, what I've learned from that, I need a different kind of person. You take whatever this opportunity is, you you work it, you understand it. You've got this inner knowledge this week, this inner depth of wisdom. I love this, Cantarians. And you take it and you run with it. And you, you whatever comes up with these, this Ace of Cups, this Ace of Wands, this Knight of Cups, it's like you don't come from it from like a giddy perspective. There's like, okay, step by step, Cancer, things are looking good, but let's not get carried away because we know what's happening, we understand what's happening, and we're going to take it and we're going to maximize every bit of opportunity and possibility that comes our way because we're coming from a base of knowledge and wisdom. Beautiful that this sits under your remembrance card. This compromise that comes in, guys, now this compromise could be anything, right? Like I said to you, this could be any previous situation, but a compromise is reached. Whatever it is, whether this is just a compromise that you reach within yourself, right, guys? Or it's a compromise that you reach with another person. We've got six of swords coming in. Whatever this is, you move out of these troubled rough waters and you sail on to a better period. This is definitely opening up a better period and it's because of you. It's because of you and your beautiful Cancerian knowledge and wisdom of tapping into past experience and making it work in your present. Okay? And whatever this is in terms of this compromise, guys, like I said, it could be somebody that you reach like some kind of peace with, you know, it could be a, a work situation, a family situation, the the paid, the the two of pentacles comes in and says, okay, there might be a little bit of back and forth and it's fine. You will reach that compromise. You, this is this is a master teacher coming in. So it's just, just probably another one of your lessons and it could very much relate to that. You just, you know how to manage it. Just if there's a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of turbulent water, that's fine. Keep calm. Don't, you know, flare up. Don't get, you know, worked up about it. Don't let anyone push your buttons. You're able to do it and manage it in the best way way possible because you've got the experience you've got the knowledge from past experience so what i what i want to do for now is just pull the little tarot the little tarot are going to give us an additional message this message could relate to this scenario or it could be something completely separate let's go ahead and see what message we have for you cancer okay We've got the seven of pentacles, we've got the four of wands, and we've got the seven of swords. Okay, nice message. This seven of pentacles comes in. Seven of pentacles is about really, with, in this scenario, is just looking at the big picture, reviewing everything, seeing how everything is playing out, like being aware of what's coming in. What is the offer? Who's the offer coming from? What are the possibilities with your two aces? You, have you been waiting for this opportunity? Are you going to grab this opportunity? Do you want to think about this opportunity? This is your seven of pentacles energy. Remembrance, on top of your remembrance card, you have got four of wands. Cancer. Four of Wands is the celebration card. 
okay there is something here uh, which I just I know I'm repeating myself so please bear with me but I'm just can't stress this enough how you use your inner knowledge and wisdom in a present situation that it, it, it not only do you get this energy of two aces but you get a celebration you get a let wow amazing I'm so happy with the way things turned out beautiful the seven of swords it sits on our um on top of our six of swords this for me this was in between the the, the remembrance and the compromise guys this is about being strategic this is about like you know, looking at whatever this situation is that comes up and going right seven of swords is like strategizing if i take these swords away then nobody is going to be able to stab me that kind of energy okay so it's like really thinking it through same with the seven of pentacles really thinking it through so that the situation works out as as a win-win and especially it, what i can see it's, it's incredibly positive in your favor so let's pull one more oracle card just to get a final energy message from spirit in terms of the best energies to work with this week peacock spirit let it shine cancer 46 is 10 okay 10th of september could be a good auspicious day for you but i want you to know one thing you're going to shine you're going to shine through this experience this opportunity you're going to shine your tail feathers fluff out those tail feathers let them see the beautiful cancerian that you are because you are managing this with such such beautiful grace so there you have it my dear cancerians i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up just lets me know that you like this kind of content if you would like to you can also go ahead and subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate that i wish you a wonderful week and i'm sending you all lots of love